Thank you, our chairperson. To say that the state of local government in South Africa is an utter disarray would be a complete misrepresentation. House chairperson, the reality is that we do not have local government. That sphere of government has completely collapsed. And it is one sphere of government that was supposed to work because when our people talk about government, they are talking about local government. When our people want water, they want water from municipalities. When our people want electricity, they want electricity from the municipality. When our people want sanitation infrastructure, they expect municipalities to deliver. Our people want roads, refuse collection, sewage ma uh, maintenance, grass cutting on the side of the road and infrastructure maintenance from their municipalities because their municipalities are at the cold phase of service delivery. And we will deal with administration and dysfunctionality issue later, House Chairperson. First, let's deal with the failure to create local government and municipalities that would be capable and financially sound. And the EFF have raised this issue a lot of time. At the center of South Africa's local government house chair, as it is envisaged in the constitution, it assumes that there are jobs, people work, and all parts of this country have economic activities. In this way, people will be able to pay for municipal services, property rates, water, and electricity. But the reality is that chair, more than 10, and those who are employed, majority and below a living wage. As a result, municipalities cannot raise their own revenue, house chain. In this current design, the Division of Revenue Act that is used to allocate money between spheres of government and between municipalities is based on these false assumptions. It means that the equitable share and conditional grants that municipalities receive through the division of revenue is the main source of economic activities in the area. Hence, we see in fightings amongst councillors and senior municipal officials over tenders and senior position within municipalities. This is how the ruling party has been able to maintain apartheid spatial planning because even municipalities such as Metro who are able to raise revenue, prioritize mostly affluent areas and wide residents, while our people in informal settlements and townships such as Langa, Umlazi, Alexander, Marikana, Deep Sloot, and many other areas continue to live in apartheid structure settlements. With each, with each year that passes, municipalities have descended deeper and deeper into the state of chaos chain. And if we do not change the division of revenue bill, our municipalities we will continue to see hopelessness, delusionness, and frustrations marked by service delivery protests, violent crime, and corruption. Instead of solving problems of poverty, eliminate inequality and reshape our society. Our municipalities do not have capacity and they outsource even the most basic things such as delivery of mail in their own offices. This is happening, Chairperson. We have seen it. Through tender, prices are inflated. Monies are stolen. And most of the time, projects are left incomplete because goods were not delivered. How, Chairperson, we need to rethink municipalities and in addition, amending division of revenue and equitable share. Municipality capacity. Municipalities must employ qualified artisans, qualified engineers, planners, qualified and competent administrators. 
What we see now in this by changing the law and building capacity may not be equal because the ruling party is finished. It has gone to the dogs. They don't know what they are doing uh, in these municipalities. 15 municipalities in the Northwest House share are under administration, and there is no sign of improvement at all. Administrator, administrators have also started looting. Municipalities are awarding tenders to state officials and family members related to councillors. This is in the Auditor General's report, 2018-2019. In Mpumalanga and Northern Cape, there is so much instability caused by political infighting amongst members of the ruling party that they have forgotten about service delivery to their people who voted them into power. The only areas that municipalities deliver services to is predominantly white areas because the Democratic Alliance is a racist party that wants to protect the privilege of few whites and continue the privileges of a apartheid. House Jefferson in the free state since 2016, people of Metima Hulu, the municipality was under administration. If not under administration, Jefferson, there were no there were elections or some other challenges. People of Metima Hulu have suffered, and it is enough, Jefferson. It must be understood from the level of the EFF that when we say it is enough, we mean it, it is enough. Provide services to the people of Metima Hulu. It is enough, House Chair, we will. And there is generally no imagination in the ruling party. Even the proposed model, the district development model, is misguided. It lacks political imagination and will just benefit consultants who are being hired by Copta while our people are not getting services from this municipalities. We, do, we must do away house chairperson with consultants because that is where the looting happens. We must abolish tender system and insource cleaners, security guards, gardeners, and all other workers who are currently outsourced in this municipality. Municipalities. Our municipalities must procure majority of the goods that they use from local suppliers and should prioritize women and youth who are owning business in the locality. Our municipalities must do away with giving land to people to build malls. They should build special economic zones and in, invite investors in their own locality. House chairperson, but also our municipalities must be drivers of job creation as the only dependable sphere of government that can change the lives of the people. Lastly, chairperson, we want to put it on record that in our campaign to build capable municipalities, we don't want to deal with racists. Those municipalities that still treat our people like they are second class citizens. You must know the EFF is here. The EFF will come and change those municipalities for the better. It is only the EFF that has a believable and practical plan on jobs, land, and capable municipalities. It is the only EFF house chairperson that will radically make municipalities an important sphere of local government and create jobs <coughs> in the local. It is the only EFF that understands what is it to be done to build capable, financially mm -hmm. sound municipalities to create jobs, to eradicate poverty, and reduce inequality. Thank you, Chairperson.